So I want to talk about uh, straining your paints. Now um, I'm getting ready to spray the body right here. I've got a five gallon of the body. I've got multiple singles of the body. We're just pouring some into a five, saw some chunks of the paint, you know, coming out. And it's pretty common, you know, if paints have sat for a while, if they've sat in sun, they'll get um, paint skimming over on the top of the buckets or on the top of the paint due to the chemicals in them that make them dry really fast these days that you'll get it skimming over even in the top of the bucket so nowadays with exterior paints and even interior paints and especially if you're running it through a sprayer you want to always strain your paints i can't emphasize that enough you need to strain your paints and if you don't strain your paints you're going to clog the manifold filter you're going to clog the gun filter we didn't strain the paint when we first started painting this house and we clogged two gun whips and so um, strain your paints I'm gonna show you how we I typically go about straining my paints and I just use Raven gloves just throw away gloves because I'm going to quickly run the paint out of the strainers have yourself a five-in-one that way you can open up your singles and dump your singles into a five you want to have an empty five even though I have a brand new five, this is a brand new five sitting here, we're gonna wanna strain it. So I, I always, instead of using like bucket top strainers, I like this type of strainer because you can run your hand through it, empty it out really quick. I like the ones with the elastic on the top because they stay on the bucket, top of the bucket um, with the elastic. Now I'm just gonna take, begin dumping. I'm gonna dump since I got singles and I only got one five, I'm gonna dump because I wanna box my paints too. I'm gonna dump part of the five in and watch the strainer because sometimes even with elastic, it can actually dump into the bucket. Now I'm gonna just quickly snap it back, clean the rim so it doesn't pour down the side of my bucket. I'll pour more of that into there as I begin to run down. So now I'm gonna take my singles, I'm gonna box my singles right in. Make sure you shake your cans up first. Make sure they're shooken. Make sure your five has been stirred with a whip or a drill or some type of stir stick. Now we'll start to dump it in and see that's pretty clean there. A lot of times you'll see chunks falling in and that's exactly what you're straining out. You can see it's skimming over on the top. This is the stuff that will eventually you know, break free, drop into your paint, and that's gonna clog your filters. You can see a few chunks dropping in there. That's exactly what you're straining out. That's gonna clog up your sprayer if you don't strain your paint. Got room to dump this one single that's partially used right here. I've already shooken these up. You can see the same thing on the top. This is the stuff that's gonna fall into your paint and cause all kinds of issues. Now, once you got your bucket full, I'm just gonna lift my strainer up, slowly let the paint drain out. And this is why I like this type of strainer because I, now I can just take, run the paint out of the strainer. I'm gonna drop this strainer in water because I'm gonna reuse it, I'm gonna clean it and reuse it. I got a bucket of water I can drop it into right here. Now I'm just gonna pull the gloves off. They got clean hands. Always strain your paints.